Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. My name is Danny Chess and welcome back to the Art Survival video. Today, it's time for me to showcase about Cyber Mitten. So, Cyber Mitten, what is Cyber Mitten? Uh, Cyber Mitten is a robot uprising has never been so festive. Um, building, build your own army of cyber snowmen. Uh, durability is 10%, almost broken, which means that we can try to see uh, you know the repair as well sometime later on in this video and then quantity is one obviously uh, item weight is two kilograms uh, Which is nothing pretty much if you're end game if you're early game two kilograms is kind of heavy So, you know, like you might want to rethink if you want to um, Carry this weapon or not uh, range is two and action points is one unfortunately though um if you look at this weapon over here, yes, this is a weapon, by the way. Uh, I know it doesn't look like a weapon, right? That's like uh, exactly my point when I noticed about this as well um, at the, you know, at the beginning of the event. Uh, basically, um, I feel like what the developers need to do is to show what this actually summon, pretty much. Like, you know, if it's gonna summon things, specify, just give it over here the details about you know the creatures that it will summon for instance it will summon um i think it will summon cyber snowman right so uh you know just give information about the health the armor if any you know the movement range um abilities as well for instance you know so that uh, players are you know more intrigued into uh you know wanting this item pretty much and how to get this item well this is actually the fourth i believe uh, yeah this one the fourth uh rewards after you beat the fourth one which is the um you will have to team up with the cyber santa uh trying to beat the if i remember correctly i think it was um the yeah it, it's the matrix pretty much you will have to fight the matrix uh, i guess uh, so yeah, it will give you the cyber method. Again, like if you take a look over here, like you will be confused, right? Like uh, think of it like you are a new player. Uh, what will you think if you see this uh, thing over here? Like is it weapon? Is it uh, armor? What is it, right? Is it an item? I'm not sure. Uh, it, it only says action points and range, but it doesn't actually mention what it does. If it will do attack, if it will do, you know, summon stuff, uh, what will it summon pretty much? So, yeah, it also was kind of my concern as well with the Halloween scrolls, like um, the Halloween scrolls, uh, the, the one that summons, um, they don't actually show or, you know, mention what, you know, the specification of the thing that it summons. So, you know, I feel like that will be bad. Uh, at least for the, I don't know, uh, marketing point, I guess, you know, like, um, I guess, yeah, like, people will not be attracted, like, what is this, like, you know, people will be confused, pretty much, uh, so yeah, anyway, uh, that's enough of that, uh, let's start, I guess, let's just pick up, and uh, for this one, I'm gonna uh, use that against uh, mutants and also bandits, but not the bandit base, but just random bandits uh, in the wasteland, pretty much, Maybe in the future I will try to use this against uh, those like Mother P, Queen P, Bandit Base. Maybe I will try and you know just pretty much um, you know like ask the question will it work pretty much. But that will be for far in the future. Perhaps I don't know when, but yeah, uh, maybe. Okay, that's also is maybe. Uh, so yeah, um, let's just start. I guess uh, I will just use random. You know, not random, but more like default. Uh, armor and weapon which I always use which is the polar armor and the weapon I will use the PKM and uh, Saipuha as well uh, No, not really. Maybe I will use something else, but yeah, uh, let's just go start uh, without any further ado uh, Chai and B. Okay, that's actually great uh, Great opponents for start. Uh, let's attack uh, Not gonna use any path Maybe I will, uh, just for safety, I'm gonna use one and see how, you know, the interaction, I guess. Uh, it will be PKM, uh, this one. Cyber Mitten is, I believe, Light. Uh, yeah, this one. And then after that, the third one, I will use uh, Saibuha, perhaps. Yeah, let's just use that, it's fine. 
uh, okay, let's here we go. Cyber snowman. Oh, this is this is actually interesting. <laughs> what happened if I summon that here? So basically, just to you know give you some kind of uh, idea, it will pretty much summon something, which is uh, cyber snowman. And yeah, let's summon that over here. Uh, just to see, you know, if it will get affected. Okay, it does get affected by that, uh, which is funny in my opinion. Oh, okay. Um, oh, what's the buff? Oh, it's just hangover. Okay. Uh, okay, so it summons this, and we can basically control this one. And yeah, let's see what it will do. I'm just gonna end my turn here, ending this turn as well. Uh, okay, here we go. Cyber Snowman. Um, health will be 320. Okay, this is also level 10 Santa Claus, by the way. Um, if you have Santa Claus like lower level, apparently, according to people, the health is reduced. Uh, you know, like it will increase as your Santa Claus level increases. So, there's still time. Uh, at the time this video is released, I think there will still be like a week or something uh, for you to grind the event so you might want to increase your Santa level as well so that this is um, at its maximum uh, you know like ability or capacity or you know like a, what is it like a value pretty much okay um, healing an ally will be 10 to 30 interesting I okay I thought it doesn't heal but apparently it heals uh, Okay, so there's these three things over here. Also, it can move for only one time, by the way. Uh, movement rain is two, so keep in mind that it's not, a, you know, it's not really a runner. Uh, it only can move one time and one time only, so be careful when you want to move. Um, and the first one will be this one. All of these will do some kind of hacks. Uh, the first one, let's try for uh, this beast soldier, perhaps, and see what it does. Uh, let's see here. What it does will be firing range will be minus two. That is interesting. Uh, oh, that's actually very interesting. What will happen? Oh, duration also for four turns. <laughs> that's actually coded. Um, I think it's the only effect that, you know, will only last for four turns. That is actually insane. Um, okay, let's see. Uh, this will reduce the firing range by minus two, right? So the question will be what will happen if it is actually a melee attacker, which is this one. The peace soldier is a melee, right? So movement, I mean, not movement, but firing range will be at uh, one or zero, right? Because it's melee. So what happens if it has, you know, reduced uh, firing range? Will it affect that? Will it, you know, not be able to attack or... Will it still be able to attack and that this will only affect ranged attacks like for instance uh, queen's card or b uh yeah queen's card pretty much uh p worker doesn't actually attack anyway so whatever um okay we can only use that one time at the time you cannot use all three by the way uh after that yeah this one it's not gonna be available you cannot do that. Also, by the way, there is cooldown time over here, meaning that next turn you cannot use this. Uh, you have to use other things first, pretty much. Uh, okay, let's just move over here and see if this beast soldier, um, you know, can attack or not. Maybe that's kind of bad example because it's kind of far away. Yeah, it cannot reach us. So, yeah. Um, uh, uh, I'm gonna attack this one first, I guess. Oh, I, for I forgot that's queen card. Uh, okay, let's just finish that. It's fine. Uh, okay, that P worker will die, I think. Uh, this one is just gonna end the turn. It doesn't matter. Okay, here we go. I cannot use this, like I said, uh, until one more turn, uh, which is next turn, I think. Uh, okay, let's try the second one. I believe the second one is some kind of defense. Okay, let's use that on ourselves. Uh, okay, that also heals just like that. Uh, heals ally by 10 to 30, which is kind of minimum, which is fine, but still it heals. But yeah, it's pretty much negligible. Um, let's see the effect after this. I think, uh, let's just end the turn here. Uh, let's see here if the B soldier can attack or not. Keep in mind about this, it can still attack. Okay, here we go. Uh, so you know. Although the Beast Soldier has reduced range uh, for the attack, it only affects ranged attacks pretty much. So yeah, it says firing range. So anything that fire stuff like fire acid, fire bullets, fire, I don't know, like anything pretty much. Uh, 
it's it's gonna be reduced by minus two uh, instead so basically what it says is that for instance this uh, PKM as you can see it has five range uh, with this effect uh, it will reduce that by minus two meaning that they can only you know two three uh, uh, actually can I actually use that against myself huh that's actually the question here uh, oh I actually forgot to take a look at the defense buff but okay I guess um, Okay, can I actually use this on myself? Uh, I cannot. Okay, so that's for uh, the opponents. How about the third one? Uh, can I use that for myself? No, I cannot. Okay, let's try use this uh, for this one as well and see what it does. Uh, the third one will be hack. Blocks all creatures attacks, which will be two for two turns. Okay, that is interesting actually. Can this affect uh, stuff like Mother Peak? You know queen's p i know there's actually already a patch that uh will not you know it will not get affected by ice cream however this is not ice cream this is a uh, cyber snowman i guess we have to find out uh maybe in the future maybe i will um try it myself maybe uh yeah i think i'm just gonna put that down in the comments down below i guess in the pinned comment or in the description i guess uh so yeah Okay, so this will just pretty much block all attacks. Okay, so it says blocks all attacks, meaning that it should still be able to move, I think. Uh, yeah, okay, so my uh, nobody leaves got triggered, meaning that that B soldier actually was trying to move somewhat. So, okay, so yeah, okay, so there you have it. Um, it cannot attack, but it can still move pretty much, which is, I guess, kind of balanced, uh, you know. Uh, this ice cream over here, uh, where is it? This one, it's just gonna purely blocks uh, everything, you know, the opponent's action. It cannot move, it cannot attack as well. Uh, can, it, can it move? I don't think so. Yeah, it cannot move, it cannot attack. So, yeah, there you have it. Uh, that is Cyber Mitten. Uh, let's try one more time uh, for the P, I guess, or Radioactive Turtle. Um, and then after that, we can try for the bandit as well also i kind of want this to break uh which is not happening at the moment uh hopefully we can break this one like right now um okay let's see. okay here we go that breaks now uh let's go here oh did mean to go to that asset pool but it's fine um okay so i cannot use this against myself pretty much because that's purely debuff uh let's use this on myself again defense buff because i haven't actually watched that uh previously okay okay that could be 320 is kind of tanky in my opinion as you can see this only has a hundred so you know it will take some hits from small creatures however if it's against things like uh queen bee mother bee i feel like uh it will just gonna die in one shot or even the bandit base uh it's just gonna die in one shot or two pretty much which is unfortunate uh, but still one or two hit is still a tank right like Instead of the opponents attacking you, you can make the opponents attacking this one. So, you know, this is pretty much like a mid-tank, pretty much. If you're, you know, familiar with the term, uh, pretty much. Um, okay, let's just end the turn here. Oh, I forgot to check the defense again. Oh, my God. Uh, okay, let's put this one over here, I guess. Uh, so that, you know, it cannot attack. Uh, okay, just that. Um... Okay, here we go. This is the defense buff. Uh, where is it? Hack. Damage taken minus 20%. Okay, that's something. Uh, that also says damage taken by 20% only. Uh, it, it, it doesn't say resist melee damage by 20%, unlike the Santa's code. So, I guess this is for universal. Uh, we will take less damage. Okay, let's see here. This will do 95 to 125. That will be... Uh, plus 15 that will be 110 let's see if we will get hit by lesser than that or not um, okay let's just end the turn here I think we will be fine. oh never mind the defense buff just got stripped uh, forgot let's put it up again okay just like that uh, and the turn okay ah uh, okay that one got hit by the cyborg okay well that's short lifted uh, let's go here uh, oh, never mind. That will also die uh, with the Saipuha as well. Okay, so I need to take off the Saipuha after this, but yeah. 
um, just to see the damage reduction of her hair. Okay, let's just finish that. Can I not finish that, please? Uh, yeah, let's just let's just finish that. Um, okay. Uh, also, the weapons just broke. I guess we can try to go to the NPC. Uh, not NPC necessarily. Um, because I think let's see here. Uh, where is it? Uh, this one okay it does that i will pin this as well uh, cyber mutant battery drain okay so it requires battery interesting so it doesn't actually need anything else it needs battery and let's see if it will fully recover or only few percent we know that the santa staff uh, and also the uh what is it i think there's something else uh that it will only replenish until one percent i believe so yeah let's see here if we use this will it you know fully recover or not uh no it only recovers five percent okay that's a little bit stingy i guess uh it's fine let's go to the npc then let's fully recover that and also take a look at the amount of uh iron nuts or the npc currency that we will need to recover that or repair i guess not recover um okay where is it where's the cyber mitten um it is oh, okay over here 40,000 40,000 for 100 percent that will be 400 per percent and um i guess for 400 per percent um or every five percent that will be uh, 2000 so it's a little bit in the costly side in my opinion it's yeah it's expensive i'm not sure if this is worth it or not though uh, you know, like you can kind of compare that with Santa stuff as well, which I think also recovers for 40, you know, 400 per percent. Uh, let's see here actually. Uh, repair. Uh, where is it? Santa stuff. Uh, 16,000 for what is that? Uh, 50%. Okay, even that is better. Uh, 16,000. Uh, that will be 32,000. So that is 320 every percent. So yeah, that's actually cheaper than the Cyber Mitten itself. So yeah, I'm not quite sure actually about uh, the cost there. But all right, let's go back. Um, let's try one more time with the defense, I guess. Uh, let's just pick random opponent here. Uh, be against, fine, should be fine. Okay, here we go. We have a full, you know, full house there to helper b and uh 3b soldier okay no pad no saibuha because i don't want to randomly kill them uh, okay we have full house here 3b soldier and 2b worker uh okay let's go summon this one also by the way i forgot to mention that you can only summon one at a time as you can see you cannot really summon another one yeah the mittens uh where is it uh the mittens ram supports one cyber snowman at a time unfortunately right you cannot uh you know just fill the entire board with cyber snowman like if you have seven action points you cannot um summon seven of them you can only summon one at one time uh, you can only resummon if it's dead uh, pretty much so yeah um let's take out one of them as well uh for start maybe the p worker i guess uh okay let's do that and then uh, let's put some deep, uh, you know, defense buff for ourselves, and we'll see how many attacks, uh, you know, the the thing will do. Uh, I mean the, okay, that is forty one. Okay, it it does only forty to fifty five. That is only already uh, reduced, uh, kinda because forty is in the lower side, which is not average. So yeah, we'll probably need more. Uh, what is it? More proof, pretty much. Uh, okay, let's just end the turn. Uh, okay, let's end the turn. I still have that. Uh, okay, here we go. We got attack for 72. Uh, 37. Okay, that's already uh, below that. Okay, 78. And that one doesn't attack because, you know, it, it cannot reach us. Okay, so it was 37 for the B worker. Okay, so as you can see from that itself, 37 is less than 40. So, okay, so the... Defense buff works uh, pretty much reducing incoming damage by 20%. But then again, I have said this as well. Like, um, if you can kill the opponents already, uh, the opponents will not be able to attack you. So I feel like that's kind of useless. Um, it is useful against uh, opponents that are a lot of them. Like, 
you know like you get a uh, gang pretty much um like for instance this one like there's like five piece at a time that attacks you so that reduction of 20 percent um you know like five times that is already great right because uh, you basically will only get like four attacks instead of five because you reduce 20 percent of them so yeah that's that that works for uh, you know like uh, opponents that has a lot of um, you know opponents like this one and also it can work for things like for instance mother b uh, mother b has high uh, health right and also queen b as well they have high health high armor meaning that um, if they try to attack you um, you know like the damage will be reduced and yeah you cannot one shot them pretty much so the damage reduction will carry for the next turn and usually mother b will do like a lot of damage also the queen's b as well uh, i mean the queen b so yeah that will be uh, a lot of damage reduction pretty much which is kind of nice right uh, but yeah let's just end the turn again uh, let's use this one on um... oh here we go let's use this hack into the b worker i guess uh, this one because this is melee right so now what's gonna happen if uh, this one i mean uh, the one that will reduce the firing range uh, what happened if this one tries to attack uh, because obviously it has okay it can still attack okay uh interesting um even though this got reduced uh by minus two it can still attack but by melee pretty much okay uh let's think about something that can only attack for two range uh, is there any you know opponents that can only attack from two range uh i don't know maybe there is uh like some kind of shotguns pretty much so you know uh if they use shotguns they will pretty much have to be close to you uh like this bee worker over here which is interesting uh okay let's start pitting one of them uh you know so that we can you know have you know less opponents okay let's try um oh can i actually give deep this one uh oh we can actually okay oh unable to attack target okay we cannot use defense on the opponents interesting uh okay uh this one cannot use on us okay so for this debuff we can only use that on opponents and we can only use buff to ourselves uh can i use that on myself i cannot i cannot protect myself okay that's fair um yeah that is the cyber mittens uh now you probably ask uh, what will be the you know like the function of this right in what situation you will find yourself need the cyber mitten or cyber snowman uh honestly i'm still not sure i don't know when you know where i will use this maybe i will use the hack uh, the third one this one that will block all creatures attacks on the things like queen bee you know like a mother bee bandit bandit base I'm not sure if that will work or not, you know, like, um, because there is a recent patch, like I said in the beginning that there is the patch in which it will pretty much, you know, the, the queen bee, mother bee will not get affected by ice cream, which blocks all creatures attacks. Uh, yeah, I don't know if this will affect that as well. So I will have to take a look at that off cam again, like I said already, and you know show you guys about that uh, okay let's try one last time but this time i will try to fight bandits because bandits are bandits uh yeah let's see if it will work or not i guess yeah this is bandit um let's try again uh this one bandits uh cyber mitten yes attack and yeah let's just go i guess uh let's summon uh over here just for mid tank uh, i will show you why it's called mid tank because these bandits will try to attack this one first because it's you know approximate uh from them pretty much uh yeah i think anyway um okay yeah just like that it will try to attack that pretty much oh i forgot actually to see how much the dodge chance like if it can dodge or not you know like like naturally speaking pretty much uh okay let's end the turn uh let's see here does it have no it doesn't have innate dodge chance meaning that it cannot dodge unless it is you know inside this terrain over here or the trees or you know like uh, anything pretty much uh, okay let's go here let's give hack onto uh 
this one i guess let's see if it can you know still attack from there or not uh no it cannot okay so it has to move by one okay it dies and i guess we can just summon another one uh like this and it's just gonna become our mid tank like i said already uh and the turn here um let's give uh this one like this let's see if it can still attack or not in fact let's approach closer and see maybe it will resort into attacking using uh like melee damage probably i'm not sure if that's the case or not uh this one will last only for one more turn okay let's finish this one uh because it's getting annoying there okay let's end and this one let's go here let's see here if it will try to attack me using melee no it's just gonna uh okay it's just gonna you know try to run away i guess interesting uh you know what let's try to you know like uh, closing in i guess um let's see if it will still run or not okay let's do that uh okay it, it moves there okay interesting uh let's break this tree uh, so that it cannot move pretty much let's go here uh, and then this one can go here not enough but okay uh, okay it, it's not gonna go anywhere okay how about uh, we do something like this yeah like closing in will it attack using some kind of melee or not no it doesn't it's just not gonna attack whatsoever okay that's kind of goaded I guess like, the opponent cannot attack you whatsoever, you know, yeah, just like that. Which is kind of interesting, in my opinion. Uh, but yeah, it's just, it's just that. But again, like, I feel like you don't need these. I don't think, you know, like, why would you use this Cyber Mitten if you can just one-shot the opponents using the, uh, like, PKM, for instance, right? Uh, yeah, I guess that's the question. Um, yeah, I guess it's just support, but then again, it's like a very weak support unless again unless unless this effect affects the mother p and the queen p uh then we'll talk okay but uh, for now i feel like it's not that worth it so yeah there you have it uh that is the thing i'm just gonna punch that because i can uh yeah that is the cyber mitten uh, let me know what you think about the cyber mitten uh in my opinion it's very underwhelming uh kinda for now at the moment uh, anyway, uh, for something that is the fourth one, I feel like it's underwhelming. Uh, this tambourine is probably better. This Santa's coat is probably better than this fourth one, which is Cyber Mitten. Uh, yeah, that's just my opinion though. Maybe I'm missing something here. Let me know if you know some other combo uh, with the Cyber Mitten. Maybe it works against Queen Bee, uh, Mother Bee, uh, Bandit Base. But yeah, I will try that myself. And if I find something interesting, I will make another video for that. But if I don't, then well, that will be for in the future. But yeah, but for now, that will be it. Um, I will give it like uh 6 out of 10 probably yeah it's just for mid tank and that's it uh but yeah anyway i think love you for this one up guys enjoy it stay safe i will see you again tomorrow with another trs video but until then see ya